Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the basic concept in cloud platform called regions and zones. So what is regions and zones? To know more about what is regions and zones, let's just let's just get started with this video. So I'll explain you with the pictorial representation. Here Asia East one is a region and Asia East one A, Asia East one B, Asia East one C are the zones. So one region will have two, three or more zones associated to a particular region. So what is region now? A region is a specific geographical location where you can host your resources. Regions have three or more zones. So region is a geographical location. For example, Asia East one is a geographical location where you can host your resources. You can host your resources inside this zones. Regions or collection of zones. As you see in this picture, regions, Asia East one is a region. It has a collection of zones like Asia East one A, Asia East one B, Asia East one C. Resources like, so what are the resources that is known for region and what are the resources that is known for zones? So resources like static external IP addresses or regional. Not only this, there are other resources also. This is just an example. Regional resources can be used by any resources in that region regardless of zone. So if you deploy any resource in the regional, it can be used across all the zones present inside this region. So now we will know, we will learn what is zones. A zone is a deployment area within a region. A zone, this is a zone. Asia East 1A is an individual zone. Likewise, Asia East 1B and Asia East 1C. Zones have high bandwidth low latency network connection to the other zones in the same region. So in the same region, this all these zones are highly communicated with low latency and high availability that is high bandwidth. What are the resources? Resources like virtual machines and zonal precision disks are referred to as zonal resources. Zonal, if you are deploying some application or some service respective to zone, it can be used only within that zone. It cannot be used by other resources in the other zone. So this is what regions and zones are all about. So what are the uh, key features of identifying a region or a zone? So it should be uh, that latency connection should be very low and it should follow government rules and all the other rules provided by, showed by Google Cloud Platform and it should be highly availability and it should be disaster recovery for example let's see this uh, example in this case i am deploying one application in asia east 1b and my application is up and running and it is um, my customers are in asia region itself so the availability of that resource is it is highly availability and the bandwidth is also good everything suddenly if something bad happens to this particular zone i can switch back to uh, this zone asia east 1b this comes up and this goes down so uh, this is the what uh, disaster recovery means one when one zone goes down the other zone should automatically come up and this is highly recommended in all the all the cloud platforms now we will see what are the zones available so regions and zone available are if, if you can go into this documentation i have given the link basically click on the link and open this one so you can select a location for now, I am in this APAC. I'll select APAC that is Asia Pacific regions. So all the zones such as what are the zones present inside this location? APAC, Asia East 1, Asia East 1, B, Asia East 1, C, likewise Asia East 2, A. So these are the zones available inside this particular region. So same way, if you choose North America, you can see all the other locations, zones like US East 4A, US East 4B. So this are the, please get, take a look at it and what are the location of that uh, zones and what are the machine types available in the zones. The machine type is related to compute engine. So we are not going to deep dive about compute engine. We will see at the later part of that uh, in this playlist, obviously. Now we will see what is multi-region, what is global. So Google has more than 200 plus services as, as of now when I am recording this video. So what is multi-region? Let's assume a scenario. In this case, when zone goes down, the other zone automatically comes up. So the same way when 
when you are deploying resource in the regional level and that region goes down due to some natural disaster or natural calamity they automatically the other uh, the backup the backup or the failover uh, region will come up into the picture that is what multi region is for example this is region 1 and region 2 this is uh, asia east 1 asia east 1 assume region 1 is asia east 1 and region 2 let it be not asia east 2 similar let, let it be some other uh, um, region what is very close to apac let it be europe and uh, we'll we'll assume europe north one is the, our backup region 2 so when this region goes down automatically this region comes up region 1 is asia east 1 and region 2 is europe north 1 so this is multi region and what is global so you can um, global is when you deploy any application globally it will be highly available for all the users and when some application goes down when application goes down in a specific region it will be automatically up in somewhere so it is globally available and uh, it as as you know it is um, it costs it costs you must also so if you wanted to learn more about google cloud locations and regions you can take a link at this you can take a link look at the, this links now we will see um, or totally there are 29 regions available in google cloud platform with 88 zones and 146 network edge location in 200 plus countries so totally there are 29 regions and 88 zones as of 4 10 2022 so these are the regions if you see um, this is europe region this is asia apac region and this is uh, uh, us east and us west location regions north america and south america so these are the regions and products you can go through this link to understand what are the products available in asia specific asia pacific multi-region resources and europe based resources compute engine app engine and america's us west one those regions all those resources what are the resources available in those re specific regions you can take a look at it what are the products and what are the regions yeah so that's it for today's video i hope you learn something new out of it if you have any questions or any doubts please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible i'll meet you in the next video very soon with new interesting content uh, in google cloud platform until then it's bye from Vignesh. happy learning